Bet you've never seen this before. Rock dumping over a pipeline at a depth of 126 meters. Right on target. Take a look. It's really happening before your very eyes. 2.0. Not in a laboratory, but on location in the northern part of the North Sea on board the Tronus. The Tronus is operated by Jebson's ACZ, and the ship has been specially equipped for deep sea rock dumping operations. Flexible and always ready to start, so that every job can be finished in the fastest time possible. Here is the vessel in a Norwegian harbor. The relatively shallow draft of eight meters allows the vessel to load rock material in every major port. 8,000 tons of dump material can be loaded in only a few hours time. Dumping material with a diameter of up to approximately nine inches. Equally as fast, the Trollness's 4,000 horsepower engines drive the vessel to its required location. You maneuver the ship to its correct position with the aid of advanced satellite navigation instruments. Eight thousand tons of dump material are now ready to be brought to place. Then lower the chain net fall pipe, which has a diameter of one meter and can vary in length between six and six hundred meters. At the lower end of the flexible fall pipe, a purpose-built ROV has been mounted. Using the conveyor belt systems, the dump materials are transported to the top of the flexible fall pipe. Working specifically in such relatively great depths you need to be absolutely sure that all the dumping material has been placed on the correct location. Because we've constructed the flexible fault pipe as an open construction, the seawater washes over the dump material during its fall practically unhindered, and therefore it arrives on the bottom in clean pieces. In case fine dumping material is required, we use a semi-closed fault pipe system. Now, that's where we have installed the video cameras, which transmit very clear pictures to us at the surface. One camera points forward, the other backwards. No dust, no dirt, no clouding. We can see exactly what happens the moment it happens. The vessel is brought into position above the pipeline in a favorable heading with respect to wind and waves. The Tronus is equipped with a differential satellite navigation and positioning system to pilot the vessel from the quarry to its final destination. Captain, can you increase speed to two centimeters? There you are. Two centimeters. Two centimeters, but I can. Pre-dive checks of all the ROV functions are carefully carried out. Go ahead, Rich. Yeah, OK, uh, ROV, we're ready to do uh, checks. We'll start with uh, light zone cameras. The ROV has a maximum thrust of 300 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful in the world. Starting the hydraulic motors. Roger. The tower is skidded into operational position. Operations can be carried out around the clock. 
The ROV is ready for launching. The whole operation from position the vessel to launching the ROV takes less than one hour. The umbilical, which contains all the power supply and control functions to the ROV, is simultaneously unrolled. Depth now 0969798. The location of the bottom of the fall pipe is fixed using a taut wire system. A small strong wire is connected to the ROV, and by measuring the cable length and cable angle with accurate sensors on the taut wire frame, the position of the ROV relative to the ship can be determined. Yeah, that's us uh, at depth. Depth now one, two. At three, a depth two, of 130 two, meters, two, operations two, can begin. The unique self unloading system of the Trollness brings the dump material from the cargo holds into the fall pipe with the aid of several conveyor belts and at a depth of 130 meters. Dumping operations can begin, and up to 700 tons can be dumped every hour. The pilot flies the ROV over the pipeline. At the same time, both the quantity of dump material and the forward movement of the ROV are closely controlled in order to achieve the required profile. But there's still a few more things to think about. The vessel itself, for instance, is lying in the middle of the open sea. So, you have to reckon with the rising and falling of the waves. The trawler system has a built-in heave compensator, which allows you to work in severe weather conditions. Our clients can see with their own eyes exactly how the operation is progressing. We have mounted profilers to look forward, and profilers to look backwards. The acoustic signals are transmitted to the computers on board. These are then transferred into a recognizable optical picture and a hard copy is printed. Here you can see the pre-survey and here is the post-survey which we receive immediately. If we've been sailing for one day on a particular job, you can, within a few hours, look forward to seeing the final post-survey results. No centimetre has been overlooked. Just look for yourself. Ballasting is a critical element in an ever larger number of offshore projects. Quality ballasting work requires a combination of different domains of expertise, an expertise which is directly at hand. 
Ballasting operations offshore required for installation of gravity based structures, loading buoys, barriers, etc., are carried out to the closest tolerances. In addition to the DP flexible fall pipe vessel trawlness, the Rocky Giant was converted in 1991 into a fall pipe vessel with a capacity of 3,000 tons and able to dump material up to 20 inches. And so, we at Jebson ACZ can show you something that you've never seen before. It concerns rock dumping in deep waters, in the middle of the ocean, over a pipeline. But the flexible fall pipe system is not only suitable for stabilizing and protecting pipelines, it's equally reliable and applicable to covering flow lines and cables, free span correction, bottom protection around and between structures, seabed preparation prior to pipe main, the construction of underwater berms, ballasting of subsea structures, and so on. The Jepson's ACZ flexible fall pipe system, a unique development in rock dumping, reaching down into the deep before your very eyes.